Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do an unboxing on this Tycom L8000 Robot Vacuum Cleaner. So I've taken everything out of the box. Here's everything that comes in the box. It is a mopping robot vacuum cleaner, so it comes with the attachment, one extra mop pad, side brushes, an extra filter, these little valves that go inside the dustbin, a tool, a power supply, some zip ties for cord management, and this is the docking station. Here's the actual robot. So there are these bumper guards. We want to make sure and remove these. And then there's one more right up underneath here. Now that bumper is free. So this robot has LiDAR navigation. It's also got a home button and a power button and a Wi-Fi light. Looks like there is some kind of sensor on the front. Okay, this robot does have LiDAR navigation. It's got a home button, a power button, and a Wi-Fi light. It's got the bumper. There is a sensor on the front. Let's flip it over. Battery compartment, drive wheels. This wheel spins free. That's where it's gonna charge the robot. And then back here is the brush. Let's take a look at the brush. So it's gonna suck everything up into the dustbin. Here's the actual brush. It's got some soft bristles and kind of some softer plastic ones. Okay, to reinstall it, there's like a, put this square drive in over here, put that down. Put these two ears in up front then it should uh, pop in so you get an extra side brush it only takes one side brush it's a square you just pop it on all right let's take a look at the dustbin you're going to push this button right here the dustbin is going to slide out this is how you empty everything out so it's going to go around and vacuum everything up once in a while about once every two or three times it vacuums you're going to take this to the trash can open this right here and dump everything out. This is the filter. So you will have to clean this filter once in a while. You do get an extra filter and this little foam filter. And these pieces here, these are like the little flappers to keep dust and debris inside the chamber. So you get two of these. But to put the filter back in, put it in, make sure that little pull tab is up. This uh, really thin mesh goes there and then you're just going to push this down until it's flush there and you can close it now you can when you want to do mopping you're going to fill it up with water it says water only no cleaning solutions it does have like a little pump in there there's a little electrical connection here and there is a little water pump in there and when the mopping pad is attached it looks like water is going to come out here and here so we can see Oh, yeah, there, there's a third hole too. So three holes when the mopping pad is, you got to attach it when you want to do mopping. You don't have to have this attached. This will come off for easy cleaning, Velcro, flip it over, and then it's just Velcro right there too. So when you get, you can put this in your laundry, get it all nice and clean. You're going to have to clean this because that is going to get dirty from cleaning your floors. Put that little lip on, fold it over. There you go. Okay, so let's put the dustbin back in. Whoops, got it upside down. Put the dustbin back in. Now when you want to attach this, you're gonna slide it in. There's a spot for it to slide in and you're gonna hear it click. There, that's with the mopping pad installed, okay? Then when you wanna take the mopping pad off, just simply grab that. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have it map my house without the mopping pad installed. It says before you use the mopping pad that you want to have it map your house and then you want to put no mopping zones. Otherwise, if you don't put a no mopping zone, when the mopping pad is installed, it, will, it could possibly mop on your carpet. Okay, so here's the power adapter. You're going to plug this into the wall and you got to plug this other end into the... right here on the side. And then you can store the extra cable in here. In this little area right here there is a light on here to let you know you got it powered on it does come with this little tool that's for cutting hair off of the brush roller that turns you might get some hair caught on it, it does come with a really nice user manual that's really thick with lots of pictures and description okay so we're going to put this base station that's going to charge the robot up against the wall they don't want it away from the wall and they want about three feet on either side of it clear and six feet in front of it clear Okay, the robot is about 13 inches. The docking station is about five. 
Let's see how tall the robot is. Right at three and a half inches to the top of the light. Now it says the base station 100 to 240 volts, 50 or 60 hertz. Now I'm gonna demonstrate this. I haven't turned the unit on yet. I've got the base station plugged in. I've got this on my counter, but you're gonna wanna put this where you want it so that you can dock it, so that it can start mapping your house. So I'm doing this for demonstration. You're simply gonna rotate it on and it's gonna turn the robot on. So I have this light and these blue lights on the buttons are on. Power up. Start charging. Okay, so this is a, there, there was a QR code here. I scanned it with my phone, my camera app. It just went to a website. So you've got to get it. You got to get an app. Now it's called the Tuya Smart App. I, there was a guest mode, but I went ahead and just uh, got a login. It, you had to give it your email and then um, it gave you a code and then you had to set up a password. So I am logged in. This is a brand new, this Tycom, I've never had one. I got this off Amazon, retails for 160. I got it for 150 because it has LiDAR navigation. So here I've got, the app requires me, I gotta turn my tablet sideways. So I gotta hit add device. I will say, and this is, it, it is very descriptive on everything you should be doing. That's probably, this is probably the thickest manual I've seen. So, but the app looks like it's for other smart home devices. It does say this only uses 2.4 gigahertz. First thing we're gonna do is reset the Wi-Fi. The unit's powered on, we're gonna hold these two buttons. In Wi-Fi reset, ready for Wi-Fi connection. All right, hit add device. Continue, allow while using app, allow. It wants to use Bluetooth. A lot of per there it is right there I think that's it yeah so that's my Wi-Fi now give it your Wi-Fi uh, password okay so it looks like it connected being added and there's a little bar going across Wi-Fi. all right so it's it's speaking I like that it speaks to you Successful. all right that didn't take that took less than a minute hit done No house maps. We got to do a mapping run. Okay, so I got it where I'm going to dock it. I will be comparing it to the iRobot Roomba Essentials. But first, let's do the setup. Okay, mapping run. Map management. Please start smart cleaning. All right, there's no dedicated mapping. You just got to start the smart clean. Start sweeping. <laughs> they call it sweeping. That's hilarious. It's the first time I've heard that called sweeping. All right, looks like it's randomly going through my house. I am getting that live view, which I like with LiDAR. So it's telling me in real world what my house looks like and it's gonna update this, so that's nice. I'm not sure, okay, it came with 63% battery charge, so I would hope it would get it done. Okay, so what's, what's interesting is it mapped my house really good with LiDAR, but as soon as it was done mapping, now it's it started to clean, so it picked the farthest room away and it's cleaning. You know, the LiDAR is actually pretty good. This was a closet that had a lot of stuff in it, but it just kind of went in there and then came out, so pretty good and that's the base station right there there's a couch there so it kind of identified it and the rooms yeah those are really close that's a bathroom it didn't get the bathroom but so it's in here cleaning this room now and it's got carpet boosts because when it got onto carpet it did uh, boost the suction i mean it's not as noisy as others but it looks, so it's going to go around and do the perimeter of the room first and then do the nice lines. And here's Miss Fiona. No treat today. Is that okay? Okay, I guess I'll give you a treat.
Okay, so let's go take a look. It looks like it's doing the straight lines now. Yep, it's doing the straight lines. All right. Pretty anxious about this robot. I don't know much about it. That's a pretty straight couple lines there. And it did go around that. I would have liked to have seen it go on this side of that. But it did a good job navigating around it. Oh, well, now it is going to get the other side of it. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's tell it to come home. Yeah, in fact, there's the obstacle around the legs. Let's tell it to recharge. Okay, so it did return to the charging base just fine. And it does give you, um, it tells you where it cleaned, which it looks really good. Again, the LiDAR is doing a good job. It's going around. There's a bunch of obstacles in this area, so I might put a no-go zone. But it's doing a good job of navigating and mapping your house. I just wish this is in landscape mode. I wish it would go vertical. But things are different. So this is to start at the cleaning. This is recharge. That's the home button. Like we're used to like go dock. That's called the recharge button. I can do selective room cleaning. I can pick a room. Um, I can do a spot. Oh, where, okay, there's the spot. Looks like it'll probably go in a circle. I can do a zone. Oh, create a cleaning area. There it is. And so there's the cleaning area and I gotta move it. Okay, so it's got some nice features. Again, this is the app, and you got to click on this. It loads relatively quick. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the app. Um, Third-party control, looks like. See, oh, more settings. Everything's just a little bit. we got manual cleaning, map management. I'm not sure if you can do multiple floors or not yet. Schedule definitely want to put it on a schedule seek robot. Okay, that's when you will need to go find it Suction is on low right now Let's, let's put it on high <laughs> uh, Oh, yeah, it does mopping I forgot I forgot all about mopping I'll have to try that out look for that in the review Resume cleaning so we'll have it go back and recharge that was off by default customize voice and language might want to turn that down. It was kind of loud. It is pretty loud. Cleaning record. So we can go back. And again, it shows you where it cleaned. That's nice. Do not disturb. Definitely make sure that's on. This thing will start in the middle of the night. Self-empty base. Now that's interesting because this is not a self-empty base, but the dustbin was made for a self-empty base. Device information. Carpet boost was already on. Uh, cleaning mode. You can do, okay, you can do sweep and mop, sweep or mop only. That's interesting. Yeah, this is, I'm so far I'm happy with this. Uh, the, 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 the app works. It's a little different than I'm used to. Maybe when I have an iPhone, it works vertical, but right now it's in horizontal on an iPad. I will be comparing it to the iRobot Roomba Essentials but it doesn't have lidar so again there it has an auto empty um, thing now I, again this is how you empty it out wow it actually did a pretty good job hmm interesting very very interesting start charging okay so i've got some criteria before i start buying these these really inexpensive ones off of amazon there's a couple things that i look for 
Does it have a storefront on Amazon? This one did. Are parts available? Yes. Actually, there, there's third party, but this company actually has a bunch of parts available. The mopping pads, the filters. So that tells me the company's kind of established. They have, they have about four or five other vacuums. That also helps. I've never heard of this brand. $160, it's on sale, it's a limited time deal right now. They've sold a one, they've sold a thousand of these in the past month. Normally $199, you know, I actually might pay $199 for that. Um, I love the one fit, so it's always gonna go on sale, looks like. I think, and it's got a $10 coupon. So this is $150 with LiDAR navigation. The app is different, but works really well. So again, I, I just did a, a review on the best $150 robot vacuum. I think I'm still gonna stick with the Eufy L50 just because it's a Eufy. They've been established, parts are available. But this one, I think is probably gonna be right next to it. Um, again, LiDAR navigation, you can put no-go zones. I really do like it, so. I will put a link to this right underneath the show description notes. Now be sure and check out my comparison. That's a $250 a robot, the iRobot Roomba, brand new essentials. Oh, they have a mopping one also I should compare it with. But um, I'll do a full review on it also, and I'll keep you updated, and also check out my, my video for best robot under $150. It's amazing that we can get LiDAR navigation with $150. Last year, that was not possible. LiDAR navigation was expensive. This year, it's Eufy changed the game. And then these other companies are actually really helping out a bunch too. But again, I don't know this company. Um, it looks, you know, made in China, but so far so good. I really do appreciate everybody's support. If you could, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching. So be sure and check me out on Instagram, just to dad videos on Instagram. I do free giveaways there and my Facebook group page. I love what I do. I love giving you the honest reviews, buying these products. You know, if there's something, if there's some way you would want these tested, let me know. I did that hot water testing because somebody told me in the comments and I'll work on it, try to do a little bit better job of that. But um, I just really do love what I do. I, I just appreciate everybody's support. Again, the link's in the description. Um, if you click on them, the products won't cost you anymore, but I do get a small commission from the sale. It is a way of supporting my channel. That way I can continue to buy these and give you my honest review. Again, that's what this channel's about. Um, would I spend this because would I spend that amount of money on that robot? I actually did spend that money on that robot. And you know, some of these robots, it, I'll send them back. And I've sent, I've sent three or four back going, well, you know, this is a lot of money. And it's just not that price point's not good for the options. So I'll let you know if I send them back. Again, really, really do appreciate everybody's support. Again, I just compared, I got these other robots, the Dream X or the Eufy X10 Pro Omni. That's the Roborock Q Revo Max V. They got a brand new Q Revo Revo coming out. I'm, I'm probably gonna have to get it. That's the that's the X30 Dream X30. Over here we got the Dream L20, some Roombas, lots of Tenicos, even the Shark Mess Masters here. More Roombas, more Roborocks. Here I've got my the i5 going up against the the uh, Ufi L50. 150 bucks. That's an amazing vacuum cleaner for 150 bucks. Got all my vacuum cleaners lined up here for my comparisons and my future reviews. Even got some, got my Dyson here. I'm going to be starting to get more into Dyson products. I'm very sold on Dyson products now. I wasn't at first, but the more I use Dyson products, the more I love them. These are all my carpet cleaners that I save for comparisons, future uh, models that come out. I can grab the older model and compare it. So again, underneath the video, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that really helps out my channel. Hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more videos like this. And I really, really do appreciate everybody's support. And thanks for watching. Miss Fiona loves to take a nap on pillows and blankets, don't you? You're a good girl, you're a good girl. It's okay, you can go to sleep. She's down here while I'm doing my videos.